as you can see, um, I went to the Grand Rapid Drive Open Tryout this weekend, and uh, I did it for a couple of reasons. One reason was to uh, reconnect with that organization, but the other reason was to do it for this platform. Of course, I had a lot of uh, people ask me about the open trial or really being appealed by the, the open tryout videos and stuff like that. And so, I, so I took this chance to, I took it upon myself to go to an open trial and actually try to get some film on it and then also give my analysis on the situation now as you can see like i have a few clips and uh i actually did a lot more than what was shown on those few clips i had a lot of nice plays and had some nice dunks stuff like that but my father was uh recording for me and he was half watching half recording so he ended up uh missing a lot of stuff but now i appreciate him for even doing that for me because i know he just wanted to watch me play want to give a recap of what went down and also ways to be dominant in that process as well you know just a fresh look at it because i just did it this weekend now the first thing i say is the most important thing when going to an open tryout or to any tryout in general is come in good shape literally come in good shape that's the most important thing I've seen so many guys who we we after we did the drilling, think guys were so vamped, amped up. Guys had all this energy, and then when we got into games, the first game, guys were they still had their energy, and then we got into about the second and third game, and guys were like flat. And after the trial was over, the the coach then talked about that, saying, you know, a lot of you guys are good but you lower your value when you have no win because it shows that you know you're you're out of shape you didn't come prepared second most beneficial thing you can do for yourself is be a hound on the boards be a big rebounder i can't tell you how many offensive boards i got through that process i mean i literally every game i probably touched about five offensive boards and putbacks now sometimes the guys are going to shoot bad shots and when guys were shooting like you can see in the video one of the videos i posted like one of the clips that literally one of my teammates shot it and the other team literally had no effort in boxing me out and trying to Rebound they were just standing there looking at the ball and I literally came in right behind them got it put it back in And when you have to open tryout a Lot of stuff like that happens a lot of guys are missing like key fundamentals in basketball And so you could really take advantage of that especially rebounding. I don't think I probably had one guy box me out the whole day the whole day and other than that i was literally if i didn't get the offensive rebound i was touching it and so i got a lot of points like that you know just being able to get the offensive rebound get it back and put it back in and also with defensive rebounds i was one of the biggest guys on my team but i'm a point guard slash shooting guard and so we had a lot of smaller guards now i wasn't able to take the ball up court every time because these smaller guards kind of took that role i got to run point guard and be control of the tempo a lot just because i got so many rebounds now the next thing to be effective is defense defense is so important um because one thing the coaches talked about as well was like how when you are in that process and i can attest to this because i've been through the training camp process when you go through that they have affiliate guys and they have guys who are two-way players that are going to be your primary scores or or what they they make them your primary scores not because they're better than you or anything like that is that's just the way it goes you know you gotta kind of earn your keep and so these guys are gonna be primary scores so you have to be effective at something else now coming from a guard's perspective if you're able to be a lockdown defender 
there's always going to be a spot for you on any team. There's always a spot for a guy who's going to be a defender. So you go into that trial thinking, okay, well, I scored the ball, but I didn't stick any defense. I didn't box out. I didn't do the little things. You'll probably get looked over because they're not looking for scores. Of course, they want to see you and see if you're capable of scoring because you're not going to play on that level without being able to score. But at the same time, you have to show that you can be effective in other areas. Don't be reaching. I've seen a lot of guys over the weekend that were reaching a lot, trying to get a steal. And it's like, great defense isn't getting steals all the time. Like, great defense is just staying in front of your man and not letting your man score and helping your teammates out when they need help. Like, that type of great defense. Now, the next point, and the last thing that I say you need to have in order to be dominant in this process is playing your game. Now, what I mean by playing your game is you have to know what kind of player you are. If you're not a shooter, don't go there shooting a bunch of threes. If you are a shooter and you're not a driver, don't go in there trying to do all these crossovers, trying to impress. Play your game. Whatever your game is, do it. That's really it. Um, that's all I really have to say. It was, uh, it was good going through that process again. To be honest, I probably won't do it again. I just, um, I had the urge to do it, especially after last year, things going pretty well. Um, can't tell you what will happen from here as far as my career. And um, I got a few options, but um, honestly, I don't know if the G League thing will work out or not. You know, who knows, it may get a call. I'll keep you guys updated, but hopefully um, you're informed by this video. And um, it was good seeing the people who supported the channel or who watched a, a video of mine prior you know i appreciate you guys showing support um but that's all i got uh hope you enjoy i'm out